Today we're going to talk about a topic that every single one of us deals with, how to handle rejection. You've heard us talk about our business coaching materials here at The Salino Lands. We've got a great set of materials that will help you grow your business, but maybe you're wondering if it's right for you, if it's going to work for your business. You have an opportunity to join us on a free call. Come and join us in that free call where I'm going to introduce you to my daily routine for success. For an hour and a half, we'll talk about how to change your daily routine that will help you grow your business. You get a sense about how these materials are going to work for you and if it's going to be right to help you grow your business. So don't miss out on this great call. Go to thesalinolands.com and register today. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slant Lens, I'm going to talk about the issue that every single creative person has, and that's dealing with rejection. You know, every time someone doesn't like you, doesn't want to hire you, decides to choose someone else, you take it personal. It's like a stab to the heart. Like, they don't like me, they don't like my work, I'm not a good photographer, I'm not a good videographer. We take it so incredibly personal. I'm going to examine 10 ways to take this personal issue and turn it into a positive way to grow your business. Let's give us some perspective. Let's see what we can do and get started. Each of these items are going to build on each other, and number one is, it's okay to lose. Unfortunately, we've been raised in a culture where everybody gets a trophy. Let's not keep score in our little league uh, because we don't want anyone to feel bad because they might lose. The reality is, losing is a part of the process. Everyone is going to lose a certain percentage of the time. That's just the way it is. So it's okay to lose. It's not a personal insult. It's not necessarily an assault on your portfolio. It's just the process. Number two, don't become emotional. You know, I've had this experience. I got a call in an airport one day, an art director calling up saying, hey, I've decided to go somewhere with somebody else. I'm not gonna hire you. I was devastated, I was upset. I mean, at that moment I'm going, you gotta be kidding me. I, I worked so hard on this. I thought we had a great relationship. I mean, I'm saying all kinds of things and, and I, I just dumped on this guy. And I'm going, I just, all I did was I felt upset about not getting the job. And then after I hung, hung up, I felt stupid about the way I handled it with him on the phone. When you're upset like that, they say, a Psychology Today uh, article said that in an MRI, your brain is stimulated the very same for pain as it is for rejection. So we feel pain when we receive rejection. It's a natural response. In that same article, it says that our IQ actually goes down when we're in that moment of rejection, we're feeling that loss. So it's not the time to try to resolve it with the art trick on the phone. It's a great time to just say, thank you, I really appreciate it with your bride. I really appreciate you looking at us and considering us. Maybe we can work together in the future. Thank you so much. And you can end your conversation. Number three, remember, it is not always about your work. I can't tell you the number of times when I've drilled down with the art director to find out exactly why I didn't get the project that I found out, well, it's because the creative director can't leave New York and we have to shoot it here in town. It's because of this or because of that or, you know, there's so many factors that have nothing to do with your work, nothing to do with you personally, and decisions are made on a lot of those factors that really don't have anything to do with you. So number three, remember it's not always about your work. Number four, know that you are not right for every client. Sometimes there's just a client situation where you don't relate, you don't connect, or your work doesn't quite connect and doesn't quite work. It's not always because the other person's better. Maybe he loves motorcycles and the client loves motorcycles. Maybe she loves dolls and you love dolls. I mean, who knows what connects people? But you're not always gonna be right for every client. Just understand that, it'll help you get through it. So number five, everyone should have a process or the things that you do to secure the job, whether it's sending thank you notes or making calls afterwards, those things that you do to help secure the job. So don't waste your time speculating about whether or not you got the job. When you get rejection, just look back at your process. Did I do all the things that I needed? I did this, 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 yes, I did everything. Let that help you know that, okay, I did my best. I did everything I could. I went through my process, I executed it flawlessly, and I still didn't get the job. Well, that just means she wasn't right for me, or he wasn't right for me. So don't waste your time speculating. Take that energy and put it into making sure you have a process, you're doing your process, and that'll help you feel a little less rejection. Number six, it is absolutely acceptable after the dust has settled, your emotions are under control, to call a client and say, tell me why it is you didn't choose to use our company for the project. And then look for really good, honest feedback from the person. Listen to why they made the decision. Listen to what they were looking for. Uh, this is really an important time to help you kind of plot the direction of your business and future sales calls, future sales presentations. So listen to that information. This is a powerful point in this process. At one point in my career, when I was doing all these huge set production projects, our director started to say to me when I'd call him back saying, you know what, we're kind of going more of a lifestyle direction now. And I heard that over and over again. And then I started to see the stuff that Leslie Dector was doing, very handheld and very kind of gritty. And the writing started to be on the wall. This big set production stuff is not gonna last much longer. 
I'm going to need to make some changes if I want to stay in this business. So they were giving me the feedback. I just had to be savvy enough to see it. And then number seven is now how do you react to that information? Don't become bipolar. Don't jump in there and start, okay, every time someone calls and says, well, you know, we really needed a guy who uses blue cameras. And, you, oh, better buy blue cameras, you know, and you start jumping all over the place. We all do this. We want to change ourselves immediately for whatever anybody says. Every single creative person suffers from this. Try to take the information, make calculated decisions to slowly move yourself forward. Don't jump and change every time something happens. But when you see the writing on the wall, it's time to start making changes to move yourself in the direction where the market's going to go so you can keep yourself relevant. Number eight, send a thank you card or a small gift to an art director. It helps me when I do this because I can send a small little gift, a little uh, card, say thank you for thinking of me, thank you for allowing us to bid, and it just makes you look like you're a classy act and that you really are a good person. These things come back to you and they come back to you as in other jobs and what they say to other people. It's just a positive thing to do. Number nine, let losing a project just make you work all the harder. If you'll turn all that energy into making more calls and sending out more flyers and contacting more people, then pretty soon you'll be on a positive track and you'll get more work. So don't let it hold you back. Just let all that energy go into getting more work. Number 10, every rejection just gets you closer to your next job. You know, it's possible to quantify the number of brides you have to speak to before you actually get a wedding. So you say I get one out of 10. Well then every time you talk to a bride and you don't get the bride or the bride tells you she doesn't want to work with you, that's just one of the nine before you get your yes. So you start to look at these things in a very positive way. Well, I needed to get rid of that one. I need to lose that one until you finally get to the yes. So it turns a negative into a positive. Every time I lose, I'm just getting closer to the one who's gonna say yes. Rejection is just a part of every single business. Everybody deals with it. For us in the creative industry, it's just a little more personal because it's about the work that we love so much. But learn to take that rejection and turn it into a positive, calculated path to grow your business and to make more money. It truly can become that. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. We have a free business coaching class on September 28th at 5 p.m. You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to put your suit on. Come in your jammies and turn on the computer. We're gonna teach you the daily routines for success. It's gonna help you grow your business. That one call, just go to thuslenlens.com and sign up today. Don't miss out, you're gonna love this call. Don't forget to subscribe to The Slanted Lens. Like us on Facebook. Tell your mother about us. Tell your mother's mother about us.